Hey guys, it's Lacey from the Community Center. Today I'm hopping on to show you how to do a reusable bag, how to make a reusable bag out of a couple of old t-shirts. So I have some old t-shirts from an old fitness challenge that we did a few years ago. And I'm gonna show you two versions. I have one that is no sew and one that is sew with your sewing machine. So what you need, you need one marker, one pair of fabric scissors or really good scissors that'll at least cut through some fabric. And then you also need a plate, a big dinner plate for this project. So a t-shirt, a marker, scissors, and a dinner plate for the no-sew project. All right, let's get started. Okay, and this is what the no-sew bag is gonna look like. So you could change this to be, anyway, this fringe on the bottom could be any particular length. There's not any fancy measuring going on here, but this is an old t-shirt and I'm going to put my arm in here and put my arm in here using the shoulder seams and now it's a bag. So, holds on to everything that we needed to. Probably not anything that's super, super heavy. You might, you might be able to carry something a little heavier with the sewing version, which I will show you guys, but this version is no sew. We're gonna tie knots in the bottom. The length of your fringe can be changed as well. So next what you're going to want to do is put your plate on top of your t-shirt where your plate is about halfway. So half the plate on the t-shirt, half the plate off the t-shirt. And then you're going to take your marker and you're going to take marks all the way around the plate. Okay, now you can see my lines. I just have a whiteboard marker. Now you can see my lines all the way around the neck of the shirt and I'm also going to make some lines around the sleeve. You're going to want to come over about an inch or so away. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you're even on each side and you're going to mark the distance. Follow the arm sleeve seam line like that. Oops, there we go. Do that on each side. Okay, now you can see that I've done that on each side of the t-shirt. Now I'm going to come down to the bottom of the t-shirt and I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to mark the length of my blade on my scissors. I'm going to mark it a couple of times down the length of the bottom of the shirt. This is how long my fringe is going to be. You could also make your fringe longer if you wanted to, but I'm going to use my scissors as a reference point. So now you can see I'm going to cut fringe, both cut through both layers of my t-shirt, cut down the whole length of those marks for the entire shirt. All right, I have cut the fringe the whole length of the shirt, and now while I have my scissors out, I am going to cut the top parts. I'm going to cut the sleeves off and cut the neck band off as well. Okay, so now my sleeves are cut off. My neckline is cut off in the shape of my dinner plate, my other sleeve, and now I have this fringe down here at the bottom. So now with this fringe, I need to tie square knots in each of these all the way down. So a square knot is just an X, like when you start to, to tie your shoe, it's two of those on top of each other, I'll show you. Okay, now we're gonna do a square knot. So, I'm gonna hold it up here to the camera, hopefully you'll be able to see. So, one, loop through, two loops through. I'm sorry, it's hard to show that. Hard to show that on the camera here. So let's see if it's, we're gonna cross it around, pull it through and cross it through the loop and pull it through. We are going to do that for the fringe, for the full length of the bag. So square knot two, very simple square knot. Two X's on top of each other. I say X's because that's how I taught my kids how to tie their shoes. Okay, and now the fringe is done and it's tied and the bag is tied all the way across. And now I have a t-shirt that is now a bag. And so now the final product looks something like this. Here's the opening of the bag. Slide it in. And now we're done. So there's a lot of tutorials on Pinterest and stuff on how to do 
how to do these projects, but this I thought this one would be fun. Limited materials required and something to do. Make yourself a bag for the pool this summer because we're gonna get to go there, I can't wait. Okay, so the sewing version is pretty much the same as the non-sewing version with one step different. I will show you, just one second. So the main difference is, is I did everything I did on the last one except for it's inside out. So right now, my sleeves are cut out, my neck is cut out, my other sleeve is, and I cut off that bottom edge of the t-shirt. And this is where I'm gonna sew. So you can see right here, I ran my sewing machine along the bottom because it is inside out. I cut off the big seam on the bottom of the t-shirt and I ran this through my sewing machine. So I gave myself a pretty healthy seam allowance of about almost an inch there. You can see, not super fancy, not super straight. And now I'm gonna flip that inside out bag right side out and you'll see. So the only difference on this one is there's no fringe. No fringe on this one, it's just a straight line and I would feel a little more comfortable putting heavier items in here like water bottles or something along those lines. So now that it is sewn across the bottom, our seam is on the inside. Here's my logo on my shirt. So this would be fun to do if you have a shirt that you're not ready to go, let go of yet, okay? Same thing, fits on my arm pretty good and it can have something a little heavier in there. So show us your finished projects, upload them on Facebook, tag us in pictures, love to see what you guys make. Have a great day.